Hello. Hello everyone. Welcome to Malaysia. We've been seeing a lot of convenience stores here, so we have to check out our favorite one. We'll be reviewing a 7-Eleven in Penang, Malaysia. So let's Makan. Makan, baby. Makan, let's makan, go makan, 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 makan. makan at 7-Eleven. Hello. Hello. Always there for you. Temuduga Tabuka. <laughs> Welcome to 7 Eleven Malaysia. Yes, we're here, here we are. Look at this store, so big, the biggest one we've seen in Penang. Yes. But first, look at this. The hottest, spiciest, and cheesiest. These are their new items. Oh my god. Wow. Goodness. Oh, they have the What the Fanta here. Ooh. We saw that in Singapore. They also sell ghost pepper chips. Come on, Malaysia. Yo. What are you doing? This is what we train for. Yeah. But I'm scared. No, no, we built our spice tolerance for this day. I'm ready for that ghost pepper Why crisp. Why do they have a Carolina oh, Reaper cheese? Carolina Reaper cottage frites and, and uh, ghost pepper. mushroom oh pasta gosh, sauce. Man. Anyway, that's just a little teaser <gasps> of what's to come. Let's check out the 7 Eleven in Malaysia. Malaysia. Let's go. Yeah, spicy Malaysia. So here we are. Welcome to the store. Ooh, Where so to nice. start? Where where to begin we don't even know should we start at hot food yes we'll i think hot food is the way food. to go and i think it's oh the hot food's here look at it so the hot food is not like on a shelf anywhere here yeah, it's okay. located in like this frozen section now they got spaghetti they've got gunda they've got plant-based stuff which we will not touch oh kung oh, wow, fried cool. rice that looks pretty good. The nasi biryani. Wow. Oh my god, your favorite day. Nice. Bees. Oh Would you like some Japanese bees? Okay, so they don't have a bee selection. It's not a huge selection. So we asked our friend from Malaysia. He said that 7 Eleven in Malaysia doesn't have a huge selection of like sandwiches, sushi, um, microwavable foods. It's more at Family Mart. Yeah, You'll they have find a family those things. Mart here. Yeah, they do. But we want to do the 7 Eleven. So I guess we'll get one thing. Did you get anything? No, I think I want to get cup noodles. Okay, let's go. So here's the first section that we're going to check out. Ooh. Wow, look at that. This is the bread section. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is so cool. <laughs> Cornbread from Favorito. We've got to try one of these Favoritos. Yes, which yeah? one? You've got chocolate, you've got coffee, you've got blueberry. But Delana's allergic to blueberries. And we got strawberry. I think go with the traditional strawberry. But what about corn? Like, I feel like a lot of people A have lot of people corn. have taken the corn. Yeah. And our tactic is to, you know, one of each? Yeah. One I of each one for of now. Each is good. Noodles. Wow. So they got mega noodles. And wow. uh, Korean noodles, Chiese okay. noodles. Oh, that's a chiffon in a cup. Ooh. I've got a chiffon in a cup. And it's going in my basket. <laughs> Are they the same? Are they the it's this a roti is a cream. Quick bite. Oh, roti cream. It's a roti cream. Yeah, let's do one. Which, Which one? one? Butter sugar. Okay. This looks so funny, baby. Two geese. Let's see. Wow, this looks foreign as hell. Oh, this Chocolate. one. Chocolate. Chocolate. What is that? A savory bun of poise. You know, I gotta get that <laughs> poise, boys. <laughs> let's try it. We got this little section here that has ice creams. You've got here, you got your. Paddle Pop with the new gen lion. Never seen him that handsome before. You got these yogurt smoothie ones from Walls, not Dreams, that's Walls. Okay, what's that? that? The durian ice cream, baby. Durian ice the cream? Musang King. Let's see that. Wow, that looks crazy. All right, let's get this last because yeah. we don't want it to melt. But yes, you can get Musang King. Oh, it smells so good. Here's the cup noodles. I love this. And Japanese a lot of Korean, as well. like cheese noodles. You got Chef Malaysian noodles, but a lot of Maggie stuff. Let's grab one. Have we Tr tried Ayam before? No, I don't think we've ever tried Ayam. I think Ayam is a good choice. Okay. And I'll try Curry Laksa. Curry Laksa. She's ayam getting the Ayam and the Curry Laksa and the cup noodles because there's not a lot of frozen food here. Oh, wait. They have the spicy one here. It's the a spicy Migori. 
So over here we've got like a coffee section, they've got a microwave. Oh here, a Nescafe little machine. For $2.80 ringgit, you can get yourself a tea Derek Milo Nescafe. I think you just press the button and it sprays in a cup. Here you got hot water. Oh, it's a mud and curry. Yeah, let's definitely try this, babe. Oh wait, there's other flavors yeah? as well. Which one do you want? Do you want to try the beef? Yeah, let's try beef. Let's try beef, okay. Don't really like mutton. Okay, yeah. And it's made from 100% Malaysian bananas? How insane! Where are the bananas? Here, they've got a Slurpee machine. It's not working! Oh no, it's a McDonald's ice cream machine. Come on, man. But they had the What the Fanta and the Tutti Frutti. Oh, I would have definitely tried out the Tutti Frutti. Yeah. Okay, over here, we got the drink station. Oh. Look at that, that looks fantastic. Why are they so big? Look how big they are. Secondhand Yakult. It's Vita, called Vidigen. Vidigen. Vidigen, Vidigen. I'll try one. Oh really? I like this green artificial looking one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Looks like Senzu bean in a bottle. <laughs> Let's go. Vid again. Vid again, vid again. Oh, they got my vitamin lemon drink here as well. I tried it earlier. It's not the best though. It's a little too sweet for me. Not enough sour zinc. You got fruit juices, you got more coffees. Over here you got more drinks. A lot of imported Korean stuff like this BTS banana and melon drink. I got Pokemon drinks here. And what else? Over here you've got of course the classics. Milo, chocolate milk, coffee, good day drinks. Banana milk, this looks so good. I'm gonna try this out because I love the artwork. Look at that, so funny. Here it goes. Over here we got a whole bunch of Titeric. One in a can, one in a squeeze the bottle. Interesting, I think I'll go for this one. This one looks pretty good. And also, another thing I love about Malaysia 7-Eleven is it's gonna be cheap. Oh, hell yes. yeah. Let's get more then. Let's go. Okay. They have more bread over oh, here. Oh, more bread. Baby. Oh, yum. What's this? Pandan Swiss roll. Let me get the one from the back. Let me get the one from the back. Yes. Definitely trying out that. Huh? There's a durian one, baby. Oh, my God. No way. Durian, durian Swiss one. roll. I've never seen anything like this before. Everything durian, I feel like Elena's getting. Yeah? She's definitely getting it all. We don't get any durian flavored things in Australia. Yeah. It's not fair. It's a bit too stinky for the Aussies, mate. Here we got ourselves a layered kek lapis cake. That looks beautiful. A lot of them look rolls, but Yeah, they love brands. rolls. They love yeah. bread rolls. Yeah, what's this? I want that. A smoky barbecue chicken bun. Wow. Otherwise known as banayan barbecue. If you want to get a Mexican bun. Although, how is this a Mexican bun? What's Mexican about it? Floss roll? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying this out. We got a spicy chicken floss roll. In it goes. Whee! And here is the chip section. Pretty big, a lot of variety. Looks really good. Whoa! Salted egg popcorn. I've never ever seen anything like that before. So I must have it. I must have you. I love these ones. The roller coasters, so delicious. Yeah. Rolly, rolly. We've had them before, though. Yeah, I've so had them many times. New. Do they have the spicy chips here? Yes, here. Got it, fries. Let's get it. I'm scared. I don't want to go through the Put same it in the pain basket. again. Put it in the basket now. We must try. We can just eat one chip. We don't have to eat it all. Let me slowly go through this chip section for you guys. Butterfish flavored crackers, prawn crackers. You got yourself the 7-Eleven chips if you're running low on cash. Over here you got these cheesels. Extra cheesy with a ZZ. Oh, with the Mexican man. More cherries. Here we got the Mr. Potato. Oh, <laughs> branded as well with a game. This flavor is Ferris the Cream, Masam, and Bawan, <laughs> which is sour cream and chives. Oh, That's nice. how you say sour cream and Very chives nice. in Malaysian. How do Chucky. I know? Because I'm Malaysian now, baby. Yeah. I'm becoming one of your people, Malaysia, because you're Southern Lemon too good. I might just immigrate here. Oh. Yes. More drinks. Oh my God. There's a lot more. Oh, Old Town. Hell yeah. Shout out to Old Town. Yo, they got Ribena. They got strawberry Ribena. What is strawberry Ribena? I have never, ever. It goes in. Oh, you got yourself an apple juice? Yes. Very good, very good. Is that a minion drink? She's having a really good time, guys. A very good time. I'll try it. Um, I mean, get it, but then we can't afford a Lexus if you keep spending all your money on snacks, okay?
Okay. Lychee. Lychee. What is that brand? Spell it out for me. Vida. Vida. Do you love it? Would you say they're your love letters? You're funny, honey. Oh, I'm a funny honey. Babe, yeah. can I hear a song from that drink? You're Go. my sugar plum honey bun. Nice. All it needed was some music. I'm, I'm sorry. going. I'm Let's going. Go. Let's go. I'm going. All right, here we have some more drinks. Oh, cheese from House Boom. Let's try. Which one, guys? This one, that one. Mini, 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 mini. We got ourselves the King Cola. Okay, I'm Ooh. down to try a Malaysian Cola. Yeah. Or an Asian one. Here they got a Sin by Rice Cracker. Baked Ooh. multi. Oh, this is like the healthy section. Yeah, Ooh. they're like crisps. Then. Over here you got the candy section. Not bad. I think I need to try one of the candies. Yeah. What's this? Yogurt flavor Skittles. Wow. What? I gotta try that out. <laughs> Yogurt. -y. Look, our basket's really stacked. I wanna it's try this. Real full. You like the sound of it? I like the sound of you music. You like the sound of music bites? Are we doing it or what, guys? <laughs> this is Mr. Potato did a collaboration with some Korean brand to create a black crisp ghost pepper level. It's not as hot as the Caroline Reaper though, so we should just try it. If we're doing Caroline Reaper, we should try that too, okay? You've got this, baby. Okay, last aisle, which is just like home goods. <laughs> this is crazy, look at this. Not feeling too well. Get some Tiger Balm. Oh Full God. stocked up. Look at that. You got, oh, yes. You got a cough? Hell yeah, man. That's so cheap as well. Pop one in. We'll bring it home. <laughs> Pop one in. Pop one in. My eggplant. What is this? It's eggplant face mask. They have preserved fruits here. Oh, wow. How strange There's more. Is that? So these are like the Asian snacks, which are nuts, dried fruits, dried mango. Oh, look at this. Is that mango, jackfruit? Look at that. That's Kelvin would love this. Self-heating curry rice. Oh yeah. Remember like the bento I got from Japan? Oh, where you pull yeah, the string and it cooks yeah. it itself. Shall we try? But don't we already have a curry? I think I we think. already have a curry. Shall we trade it? Yeah, let's, let's trade do a it. trade. Pokemon trade. Dun 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 Self-heating Tom Yum Steamboat. I think Delana's definitely getting this, man. Look at this. I have to try yeah. this. I think so. I have to. Then we don't have to microwave anything. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Oh, we need to get the durian ice cream. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky yeah, yeah. you remember. Yeah, yeah. Let's get that. And then we are done for the tour. I'm going to try out this chocolate one. Looks pretty interesting. Hell yeah. That looks pretty damn good. Look how much we got. That's a huge amount. I don't think anyone at this Heaven Lemon has bought this much food before. That's insane. And it's not even going to cost that much. That all came down to 144 ringgit. Dang. That is so That's good. Amazing. The best 7 Eleven. And the 7 Eleven tour is complete. Yay! All our groceries, amazing, came down to 48 Australian dollars. Wow. So cheap for so much food. Unbelievable, everyone. Now let's so head happy. back. <laughs> I got I got you. Give me one. Now let's head back and try all our goods in the hotel. Oh my we'll see gosh. you there. It's going to be a feast. Yeah. Welcome to the Malaysian feast from 7 Eleven. Welcome, everyone. Malaysian 7 wow. Eleven. This is a Penang banquet. Yes. Full of noodles and snacks. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Everything <laughs> smells so good. Perfect for a fatty. I love this. <laughs> Oh man, all of this for less than 50 Australian dollars. We are blessed. You want to toast to Penang and Malaysia? Oh yes. Let's do it, okay? okay? I mean, if we bought this in Australia, one of these mm. would be $12, okay? Yeah, this alone in Japan is even very expensive, the bento box we got, no. so anyway. Cheers, cheers to Malaysia! Cheers yes. to Malaysia! Oh, tea tarak. Yummy. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Are you ready, Face Bay? Yes. Are you ready to makan? Makan! Has it begun? It's time to makan, baby. All right, I'm going to start off with my kampung fried rice. Nasi goreng kampung. It is a fried rice with anchovies and a oh. whole bunch of mix in there. Bay, what are you starting off with? I will, of course, start off with the laksa. And then inside are noodles. Tell me inside there are noodles. Look. 
Wow. Cutlery time. Let's go. Perfect. Perfect. For our mukbangs. Yeah. <laughs> And not because we make them, because they're actually good. I know, seriously, it's so convenient. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want to use wood cutlery sometimes, you know? Are you ready, Bay? Yes. First meal? Let's eat. Let's eat, okay, wow. You know, the only difference between a 7-Eleven in Malaysia and other Asian countries is that they don't sell like fried food, like fried chicken, uh, or yeah. I was expecting like, the like hot uh, food that's ready to just buy and eat. Yeah, I was expecting a little bit of fried meats, or beef, or oh, Indian, some yeah, something yeah. that's unfortunate, but apparently they have it at Family Mart, 7 more about snacks, and just the quick convenience, cheers. Mmm, mm, okay, this is not bad, just like a standard fried rice. It's a little bit dry, it's got peas, it's got carrots, it's got egg. Okay, first of all, mm. laksa in Malaysia is mm. a few dollars and it is so, so delicious. You can get it anywhere. So, I don't think you should ever go for laksa in a cup noodle. Yeah, it looks kind of bland. I don't know, it's okay. It's, it's okay, it's but okay. it's just, oh my gosh, the laksa on the streets. Just go get it. Yeah, I'm now trying the ayam chicken flavour noodles you know last night we're a little cheeky we got hungry at 11 p.m decided to get um grab food service and you can order like nasi goreng noodles laksa fried rice and it costs five dollars including delivery. Uh, delivery so one meal plus shipping <laughs> shipping one meal plus delivery is five dollars AUD yeah. so the both of us cost ten dollars and you can get amazing 10 out of 10 food in the middle of the night or if you want a really late meal supper something like that so convenience food here is probably not king if I was in Japan I'll quickly go to 7-eleven yeah. get a sandwich yeah. get some noodles but here you just hit that grab app I know, and then and get, you get the, delicious food, yeah, so affordable, sent to you. just straight to your door. And the restaurants open late, they're like 2am, yeah. so they don't close, so it's perfect, so. <sighs> it's honestly the best, I feel like the lifestyle here, the lifestyle. I suit it so much. Mm. You know, it's like late night eating, food is affordable, everything is amazing, delicious. I could totally live here. This is not bad, a standard oh, chicken noodle, cup noodle. <laughs> Okay, we're trying the Maggie <coughs> Pedas Gillo Mi Goreng. This one's a dry noodle. That Very was... spicy. We've been butchering the uh, pronunciation here. I know. The words are so long and not easy yeah. to pronounce, but uh, we try our best. We know Makan. <laughs> that the, looks good. That's all we need to know. Yeah, that's all Makan. we need to know. Okay, let's try this. And my stomach is starting to heal, so... I'm very happy I can eat again. It's so cheesy! Is it? I like cheese! The Maggie noodles, baby. I love oh, Maggie noodles. Oh, it's so noodles. cheesy. It's like overpowering. Look at that. Oh, so Spicy strong. cheese. Oh, that's... Oh, you can have, really smell that. Have a little bit because the spice might be too strong. Okay. Too. But it's so cheesy. Oh! That's spicy, bro! Yeah. Ooh! You know, my favorite thing about these convenience store videos is that we love bringing back snacks for our friends and family as Always. souvenirs. Yes, every trip. So this is the best way to test all the snacks, all the food that we want to bring back. For example, if this ends up being the best thing in Malaysia, we'll bring back 20 of them and give them out as gifts mm -hmm. and keep the rest for ourselves. That's standard. Just like the chicken Maggie. Mm. Next up, I'm trying this. Oh, you can't really see it. There we go. Wee, 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 wee. It is a self-heating curry rice. Oh, Nasi okay. curry, panaskan, sendiri. Oh, what <laughs> a long ass name. Mine is a self-heating tom yam steamboat. Tom yam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says tom yam. So it says caution, self-heating. Do not tear the heat pack open, which contains chemical materials for heating. Wow. Number one, you have to open it up and put the, put the rice and vegetable flakes in. Then the sauce. Okay, I'm opening my Japanese yeah. box. Ah, oh, oh. it comes with a little tissue, man. That's good. Oh, okay, oh my right. gosh, it's like a whole kit. I have rice. This is hard rice. It comes with cutlery. 
Wow. And a little measuring cup. This is so fun. This is so funny. It's like a food science experiment. I put my rice in. It's not that complicated. We just got to read it. Look at that. Oh my god, it's actually rice grain. Look at that, so cool. Put all the rice and vegetable flakes. Okay, I have vegetable flakes. Where are my vegetable flakes? Are these vegetable flakes? Maybe these are vegetable flakes. So is this just a tissue? This is just a tissue. Oh man, I'm sweating because I'm, I'm under pressure right now. Jesus, jeez Louise, man. Jeez Louise. Welcome to food science, boys and girls. Okay, now these are all my potatoes and mutton. Oh, it's supposed to put the sauce in here. I already messed up. <laughs> Why did you put it all together? There's two sides. I even said that I was supposed to put it in here, but then when I actually did it, I was just too amazed by like how good the meat and the potatoes look. I feel like a lot of people are watching us right now and like, what are they doing? I'm sorry, the it's our first time. instructions are so clear. It's our first time, we've never done it. Wait, are you putting it in here? Can I put it in here? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That's See, I know. But look at this. It's like corn. And I apologize. Like fish because I told you to read the instructions and I didn't read it myself. I am a fool. I am a pubble. I am mm -hmm. new. So I'm going to have to transfer all my meat into the other side now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Okay. So the heating pack goes down there. Yep. Hey guys, do you like food and do you like science? Well, I'm Timmy. And welcome to our food kitchen. Today, we're making food from Malaysia. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Why you scare me like that? It just like popped up. Oh my god, put it in, 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 put it in. I need more water. More? That's enough. I ran out of water. Oh my god. Look what's going on, guys. I don't even see that, but it's just like a little pad in there. Maybe because it was like hot water. You're not supposed to put hot water in. I don't know. All right, it doesn't matter. Shove it in, shove it in. Here we go. Oh my god, science experience. Close that shit. That's going to blow up. Babe. I think I need to add more water. Yeah, I need some water too. Can you get some more? Ew, yours looks so gross. You're in China. While we wait, we'll try out the spicy chicken floss roll. I think I need to add more water to my baby. Can you open it, please? Look at that. Can you open my one? Oh, man. That's delicious. Boom! That, oh, really? How do you think I felt when you screamed in my ear? I didn't. It was an accident. Oh, 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 oh. So feel it to the waterline. Where's the waterline? Alright, I need to just pull the way. No, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, oh no. What? Too much water? Oh! oh. I need 150 meals, which is three of these cups. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay, cool. And then I gotta open this heat pack. So correct. here we go. Correct, so correct. Looks like that. You open it up. Yep. It's like that. You yep. put it in. Yep. And now chuck the water. Does it have to be hot water or not? Doesn't matter. It doesn't specifically say. Oh, it's bubbling. There's a chemical reaction happening right now. Oh! Something's happening. It's like it's gonna explode. Oh! Ow, it's hot! Ow! Oh my god, Jesus. That's better. Okay. Okay. Alright, some peace. I don't know if I want to do that again. Yeah, we, I mean, that was insane. <laughs> yeah, well, what else are you trying? Okay, I'm trying the floss. Uh, this is really delicious. So oh. I don't know if you can see it, but basically there's mayo in the center, floss on the outside, it's very soft bread. Mmm. No, I want to try this. Chicken bun. Out of all the, um, Noodles though, I think the chicken is my favorite. Mm. I like the cheesy one, but it's just too spicy. Yeah. Is that for me? Yes. Thank you. Oh, I don't really like the barbecue sauce. It's kind of like the barbecue sauce you put on like your sausages. Yeah, it's like that smoky barbecue. Oh. If you hear some bubbling, that's just the, um, the self-heating meals cooking on the side. I'm a bit worried about your one though, because you put so much water in it. I feel like it's going to blow up in my face, but It'll we'll deal fun. with it later. Yeah. Okay, this Let's next this one. one. Oh. <laughs> We're losing it. <laughs> We're losing it today. This one is called Apuaz. It's a savory bun. Let's go three, two, one, open, oh. Okay. 
is not good. It's better like a uh, chili kind of satay taste. But I don't think you'll like the fish in it. Ooh, red fishy. <laughs> strawberry ribena. Have you ever had strawberry ribena, babe? I don't like ribena. It's a minuman bois. And this one has like jelly in it. A lot of vitamin C as well. Oh wow. It's not as sweet as the black currant. The original flavor. So we've been in Malaysia for three days. Penang is our last night here. Yeah. And we're leaving tomorrow for KL, the KL, capital. Our first time there as well. But the island has been amazing. My first impressions is, to be honest, leaving the airport and seeing the surroundings after coming back from Singapore. I wasn't expecting too much, but the first thing I noticed were the people were very kind. Yes. The first thing our driver said was, welcome to Penang. It's a small island, yeah. but there's delicious food and a lot to do. So I was like, okay, that's pretty nice. This island's still developing. Mm. I feel like there's a lot of cracks here and there, a lot of old buildings. Mm -hmm. However, I feel like the people make this island seem very wealthy and prosperous. And that's what I love about it. And they're very friendly to us tourists and foreigners I making us so feel good. welcome yeah. and that's what i love about penang and those were my first impressions Ooh, yeah nice. well my first impression i feel like malaysian food in australia is not that good okay mm. now that i've come here mm. so because you loved malaysian food in australia you think it's the best doesn't yes. matter where we get yes. it from it's pretty damn tasty i think tasty. it's delicious but I've never thought it was amazing in Australia. Going to Malaysia, I'm just like, oh, you know, I didn't expect much from the food, to be honest. I just thought it would be the same as Australia. But coming here, eating the food in Penang, oh my goodness, I am mind blown. I'm sorry for underestimating your food, Penang, but it is so delicious. I feel like people don't know that and don't see that. So if you've never been to Penang, you definitely have to go. It is a foodie's dream. Yeah. And I can't wait for KL because that's I'm the capital. I'm excited for KL as There'll well. There'll be night markets there. Yeah. It'll be more busy. Ooh. And I like to see the differences between... Um, Penang and KL. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, think so too. I mean, I'm loving Penang already. So I'm just like, how will KL be different? You know, will it be better? Will it be worse? I and don't know. And the people here are so beautiful. Mm, I know. My goodness. I love the people in Penang. Wow. Walking around the streets here. Yeah. Making me feel like a 3 out of 10. Why? <laughs> so many bays and sexy men. <laughs> Smell this. This is the cornbread that we got from Massimo. Mm -hmm. You smell that? Oh my god! That is so bloody corny! And why does it look like me butt? <laughs> That's what I thought as well. I was like, I saw it, I was like, it looks like a butt straight away. What's that corn song you always sing? And uh, I got really annoyed at you. Corn song? Yeah, you kept singing this corn song. Ah, uh, it. it's corn! It's corn. Yeah. I really love the juice. It's got the juice. It's yeah. got the juice. <laughs> it's got like that corn, cream, sweet consistency that we got from that Chinese crispy pancake. But when I think of dessert, I don't think of corn. Exactly, same. Because my mum loves corn. And when we went to Vietnam, she bought like six corn cobs oh my God. and ate it all herself. She loves corn. I was so surprised. I'm sick of the smell. Ah! Oh! It's a corn butt cheek. Oh, all right. You like the corn butt cheek snack, guys? It's not too bad, but it's, it's not, not, it's bad, not great either. But we're just not into corn dessert. It's corn. Butter sugar. I'm gonna try the pandan Swiss roll. Is it better? Then where I was prior to this, I don't like saying the word, the S word too much when What's I'm in Malaysia. Why? Singapore. Oh. And you I know, don't like comparing. Okay, I want to say something. I was talking this to summer. my hairdresser in Singapore mm. and he's Malaysian, right? He's born in Malaysia. And then I asked him, I was like, oh, you know, is there, do you get annoyed or do people in Singapore get annoyed when Malaysia and Singapore always gets compared? Triceratops! And then he's like, no. Because they're so similar, they're so close. People don't get annoyed when it's compared to each other, you know? Right. So That's just him though. When I was in Singapore and I took a grab, I was saying, yeah, I came to Singapore for the food. And the driver was like, you Singapore for food? No, Malaysia. 
better. Malaysia so much better. Yeah, and I was like, well, but... oh, hmm, bias? I don't know. Let's I find mean, I out. I guess everyone has their opinions, but I don't think people would be angry over it because every country is different and every country can be similar too. On our flight here, there was a Malaysian woman putting her bags oh, on top of, uh, oh my God. what's it called? Where you put Butter your bag sugar. in it's literally bread, butter, sugar. I love this. You know I thought funny? you were interested about my story. I was like, mm, she's really good. She really wants to bring up this story. <laughs> All of a sudden she says butter, sugar. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is just bringing me back to my childhood because this is what I would eat for dessert as a child. This is awesome. Eight out of 10 for me, the panda and Swiss roll. Bread, butter, mm. sugar. Okay, mm. if you haven't tried it, just get a mm. slice of bread, put it in the toaster, toast it. You know, spread on some butter and then get Got white sugar. sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. This is it. I love it. Oh. I'll still eat it. That's nasty. Why is that nasty? It's like, nah, it's not that. I was being dramatic. I know. Anyway, go back to your story. So there was a Malaysian woman who was putting her luggage in the overhead carrier. And overhead. then the Singaporean man wasn't helping her push his bag so she could put her bag in uh -huh. and she was like Singaporean no compassion no compassion and I was like ooh, uh -huh. ooh. <laughs> ooh, already some drama between the two countries okay well then so I mean it just depends who you ask but I think there is especially when it comes to food mm. a lot of clashes so that's something I will leave B. However, we'll just enjoy the food. Singapore did give me food poisoning for three days. And I'm good here. <laughs> I don't know. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's try it out. Looks pretty good from House Boom. House Boom. Oh, okay. So it's just like Coke. Mm. A little bit different. So this was the same brand as the uh, corn butt. This is a uh, strawberry cream roll butt. I love the little buns. <laughs> I tried to double butt crack this. Anyway, let's go. Oh, this one's really good. It's got jam, cream, and that really soft bread. Nice. Not bad. It's alright. I still like my butter sugar better. We've been in Malaysia for three days, so we don't have too much to say about it. It's an amazing place, and we're definitely coming back. We have been sleeping on Malaysia as well. We've been to so many countries. We've always neglected yeah. it a little bit. I'm not sure why, maybe because it's pretty close to Australia mm. and we've always had other interests. But now that we know, we're definitely coming back. This will not be the last series in Malaysia. Yeah, for sure. Out. When Ship we say we're top. coming back, this one, it's happening. I mean it, because we only have three days here, three days over there. Yeah, That's not, not enough. enough. It's not That's enough. definitely not enough. I want to see more sites. I want to be a tourist on this island see yeah. more things like seeing yeah. whatnot Why temples try more restaurants you know? <gasps> i think we've been eating more than enough here i feel like this is the most we've eaten this whole entire series since we left for vietnam i know we have yeah. i got the jury and swiss roll oh this is like a coffee cake almost mm, not bad this is okay not bad for at 7-eleven yeah. yeah it's a little bit dry so I'll wash it down with some banana meal. However, we didn't have time to talk about Vietnam. We didn't, mm -hmm. we didn't do a mukbang there, so we didn't have time to just sit down, chat to you about our experiences there. So I hope, I feel like this is a good time to chat about it. Yes. Hope you're okay. Even though it's a Malaysian mm -hmm. episode, we're gonna talk about Vietnam a little bit and let you know our experiences traveling to Vietnam with our family, meeting new people, mm -hmm. and our time there. If you haven't seen the Vietnam vlogs, now's the time to go watch it. Mm, that was a crazy experience. Oh, Vietnam was. was something else. Yeah. It was like, it was so wild. It wasn't our usual travel style. Mm. For sure. Okay. Since we were traveling with family, you know, your parents, my parents for the first time. And then going to the village yes, and the, the rice village. fields yes. and seeing so much insane stuff. Yes, and then going to our dad's hometown, yep. you know, where they grew up. Such a culture shock. It was. Such a insane experience, but I feel like we grew as travel vloggers and as travelers in general. And so I feel like nice. we grew as a family and, and as, a couple. as a couple. Yes, yes. Definitely. Is it easy? Is it hard traveling with parents? What do you think? 
I think it is hard. It is hard. It right. can be easy depending on your parents, but it can also be hard. I think the hardest part about traveling with our parents or family is probably helping them with the language barriers, getting them from one place to another, mm. dealing with the airport issues and whatnot. Otherwise, once they get to the destination, they're not too bad. My parents, I feel like they rekindled that love. Yeah, that's there was so a spark. true. They loved it. They had a great time. What you have to understand that. with my parents are that they argue a lot. They never kiss, hold hands, hug. They never do that kind of stuff. So on that trip, seeing them hold hands, take photos together, yeah, even hug, I was like, oh my god. It was nice. It was really nice. <coughs> I don't know how to feel. <laughs> That's why you don't have feelings. Oh my god. But um, that was very interesting for me. Hmm. So I had a good time seeing that. However, it was pretty hard on us mm. because we had to deal with each other's parents and learn more about them as people. Yeah. And we found that a little difficult. What did you think though? I try these while you chat. They're salted egg, popcorn. I mean, unless your in-laws are very, very understandable and easygoing, then that's fine. But I feel like traveling with each other's in-laws was definitely an experience. Right, yeah. I think if we do it again in the future, at least we will know what to expect. Mm. I didn't have any issues traveling with our families. I thought mm. it was a good time. Yeah. Delana, however, had a little bit more responsibility, a little bit more stress because mm. she planned the whole trip. Yeah. There are a lot of times when some of your family members will just cancel. They'll want you to book this, check this hotel, do mm. that. So when we will focus on vlogging and doing our own work, you had to deal with a whole nother thing. You know, a lot of weight on your shoulders, yeah. taking care of your family members and their needs. And I feel like that, like slowly built pressure and toppled on top of you. Mm. And then also then dealing with my parents and their itinerary, them asking you all these questions. It was just too much and uh, it caused a lot of stress for us mm. in our relationship. Yeah. So we never have issues traveling together when it's just you and me. <laughs> yeah. But the amount of problems we had traveling with our family was quite big. But it was I mean, like a new stress you had to deal with and we I had to deal with it too and uh, yeah. I think by the end of it we worked it out. Yeah. We got stronger, we fixed the yeah, issues. Yeah, I mean you definitely grow from the experiences. If it's all new to us, it's first time for everything mm. and then you just learn from it, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. So traveling with family, it's fun as long as you have a good relationship within your family and if everyone is following the same itinerary and have the same vision of where they want to go yeah. and what they want to do. And one person is not saying, I want to do this, do this, yeah, try to change yeah. this. No, I don't want to go there. I don't want to, oh, I need to go here. But you know, it's just, it's hard when so many people have different opinions and different things they want to do. So imagine you're just in a big group and one person wants to yeah. do this. Because we traveled with that, 10 so. people. Yeah. It was a huge group. Yeah. And uh, there was always, one uncle or one auntie that would ruin it for the rest of us. But I would travel again with my family. I think it was good and I think next time will be even better. Yeah. yeah? No, don't get me wrong, I had a great time traveling with both of our families. Yeah. yeah. I love spending time with my parents as well. Mm. Always love seeing them and any chance I get to spend time with them, then I'd love to. Yeah, and I loved visiting your extended family. They were so cool. <laughs> They were very fun. You have a lot of, a lot of bros and sisters that yeah. really um, took care of us. Woo! Ah! Ah! Ooh! Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! Okay. It's very hot. It's very, very, very hot. There you go, me love. You. May I offer you a delicious meal that I made yeah. myself. Here we have... What did you get? Tom Yam. Tom Yam. Tom Yam noodles. And I got myself the curry. I'm going to open mine now. Okay? Watch out. Watch out. Ooh! Oh, oh wow. my rice cooked completely. Can you guys see that? Yo, whoa, Michelin star meal. Oh my god, the rice cooked completely. Look how fluffy it is. Oh, so cool. What? Oh, that is so good. Really? No, no, uh, not taste. <laughs> <laughs> not taste, not taste. Okay, come on. I just meant like how they were uncooked hard rice grains yeah, yeah. but now it's like really fluffy it's definitely better than microwaving frozen rice uh, 
like yeah? that yet. Yeah. Because it's pretty much just like steaming it in the rice cooker. Oh, yeah. This is a good meal. I don't know about mine. Oh. Is that cooked? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about mine either. The sauce hasn't really dissolved into the soup base. Oh. Oh my god. It's okay. It's a little questionable, these science foods. Yeah, it's this, okay. This is spaceship food, you know? Oh. That's a meatball. That's extra chewy. I wouldn't get this. Just leave it here for decoration, yeah? Where was the first really like huge culture shock when we went to Vietnam? Pulong, I think. Because we stayed in Ho Chi Minh City first with your family. That yeah. was fun and wholesome. Yeah. And then we went to Pulong with my parents. Yes. And that place was like the indigenous area of Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. how rural it was. Come on, you're a city girl. Let's be honest. You're a city girl. I am. I you know, don't like bugs. You don't like bugs. I'm not the into bugs nature. Oh my god, the bugs killed us there. I'm not into nature. I mean, if Nature's it's beautiful nice. nature then yes, as long as there's no bugs, okay? Mm. I just can't deal with any sort of bugs. Oh, holy shit. I got stung by a effing wasp. I found the wasp. This it was on my singlet the whole time. God damn it. <laughs> Quickly try these oh the gosh. ghost pepper chips. It's a black chip. Oh my god, I wish you luck. So how was that experience for you? Would you say that was the first time you experienced something like that? The rice fields of Vietnam, the villages. Was that too Not much? Not so much or was the rice okay? fields because I've been to Bali before and it's quite similar. Oh, really? So it wasn't a huge shock. Oh my god, do you want? Oh, man. so Pulong chip wasn't was a huge shock for yeah. me. Yeah. I think it was your dad's village, which was oh, a huge shock. That was worse. These are surprisingly very delicious. Is it spicy? And addictive. The spice comes later. It's like a, a delayed spice that hits you later and it's not that crazy. Yummy? Mm. It's a yummy chip. Yeah. Yeah, with a really nice crunch. Very good. Mmm. So I have a lot of Vietnamese cousins that I've never met before and I got to learn about their life stories. He's about 40 now, one of my cousins, so I've never met him ever in Australia, and I found out that he's my half cousin. My uncle, when he was immigrating to Australia, he actually had a wife. My uncle and his wife had a kid, which was my cousin, and he was about one or two, and I think something happened. So basically, my uncle gave his wife, the Vietnamese one, an ultimatum. Do you wanna to come to Australia and go through the hardships of immigrating on the boat, there's a chance to die. Yeah. There's a chance you won't survive. The baby's won. You're gonna have to go through the harsh seas. We don't know where we're gonna end up to escape the Vietnam War. And the wife decided to stay home with the kid. And that's why I never met that cousin because he never immigrated to Australia. So he was just, I think it was the one cousin that didn't come to Australia and ended up being a Vietnamese citizen his yeah. whole entire life. And everyone else was an Australian. It just makes me think like, <clears throat> oh my God, the chips are getting to me. Oh my goodness. Makes me think like if my parents, my dad didn't go through all those hardships, immigrating to Australia yeah. on the boat, feeling sick, mm. uh, vomiting, starving, pirates, all these stories. If he didn't go yeah. through all of that, I wouldn't live such a blessed life in Australia, yeah. have this life that I have Definitely. now. That's and true. everything would be different, you know? Yeah. There was a possibility I could have been Born and raised in Vietnam. Yeah, that's why I'm always so grateful for my parents. You know, if your family are immigrants, they've sacrificed so much mm. for you to have a better life than they did. It's same as when we went back to my dad's village, I got to know more about his life and his path and my parents' path to come to Australia. My dad tried to escape Vietnam to go to Australia twice. The first time he got caught on the boat and he had to go to jail. Yep. So he was stuck in jail for about a year and then my mum was pregnant at the time. And you know, during these times you don't know whether you're going to live or die. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the hardship behind it is you just don't know what's going to happen but you just want to try because you want to give your children a better life. Mm -hmm. So then my mom waited till my dad came out and then they tried to go again. But then, you know, something happened and then they got separated and then only my mom could go. And I didn't know this story until our Vietnam trip. And my dad told me about this. So my mom went to Australia first 
and my dad was stuck in Vietnam and then later on a few years after my mum had to get him saying that oh my husband is still in Vietnam so I have to bring him over to Australia Damn. so they checked all the paperwork to make sure they were married and everything so my mom and my dad were like separated for many years and then they finally got to see each other and then they had my sister and then they had me yeah so very very lucky but it must have been such a tough time so I'm always so grateful for my parents trauma. that's why yeah that's why like, I always want to work really hard to give back to them as well. All right, it's time to try out these cottage fries, Carolina Reaper, very scared. I'm gonna be very careful with it, with these chips. So that was another thing that was really interesting in Vietnam. Overall, our Vietnam trip was, I think, very fun, a big success. I had a good time just doing family things and spending time with your family and meeting family members. It's fun, it's great. Oh, my one looks really red. No, give it. It's Your not that one? bad. It's not that bad. My one Just looks really it. red. My one looks do it for Malaysia. more red than yours. If you don't eat it, you're not doing it for Malaysia. You don't support Malaysia. <laughs> Speech 100, got it. Persuasive. These ones are horror. That one has a funky taste to it, though. Yeah, I don't really love it. Yeah. Mm. But I like the crinkle cut. But it's not super spicy. Like, I'm not getting damaged. Whereas when I eat this, it actually hurts me. Mm. Yeah, you want to try your Mr. Potato? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I think we covered pretty much Vietnam. Yeah. I hope we're not forgetting anything, but... um. Oh, yes. Also talking about how life in Vietnam is so different to life in Australia. My cousin, when I met my cousin in Vietnam, yeah. he did not know how to use a seatbelt, <laughs> everyone. When he went to visit Hanoi, he didn't know how to put on a seatbelt. Yes, it was his first time visiting Hanoi as well. So you could hear like the ding, the beeping from the car mm. telling you to put a seatbelt on and the driver was like, put your seatbelt on and he was like, sorry, what? Yeah. And then when he did try to do it, he couldn't like clip it in. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, what's going on here? So he didn't clip it in at all. He kind of just grabbed it and put it around his body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it would still around beep. his body. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then the taxi driver was driving and it was still beeping. And yeah. then... And he's like, can you do it yeah, for me? Yeah, he's like, uh, no. Can and then he was like, oh, you got to click it in. And then my cousin was like, what? Like, what do I have to click in? Mm. So he put it on for him and when we left, we all jumped out of the car and your cousin was still in there and he's like, oh, can you take the seatbelt off for me? I don't know how to do it. And I thought that was really funny. Yeah, that's funny. And he's also the type to get sick in a car. So he gets motion sickness yeah, from a car because yeah. they always just take a, a scooter or a yeah. bike. So a car for them is very foreign, yeah, which being, is very interesting. Being in a car for over an hour would make him feel really sick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have we tried everything? Ice cream. Um. So we're gonna skip sweets and desserts. We don't no. really need ice cream. So we're just gonna wrap no. up the episode because Delana doesn't want to continue. She doesn't want to get the sweets ice cream. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys. Now this is my top three favorites from Malaysian snacks. This one coming first, which is a salted egg popcorn. It's got that caramel. It's got that saltiness from the egg. My second, oh, thank you so much. I was gonna get it, I was about to get it. My second favorite would have to be, oh, the chips, these chips, these chili ones. Ghost pepper ones from Mr. Potato, very delicious. Try it out, they're small, they're compact. You can bring like 10 of these back in your luggage bag. And my third favorite, oh, this by the way, was really funky. I did not like that. My third favorite would have to be probably this ice cream that I haven't tried. Okay. Or the bun. The bu the bum. The bum bun. The bum. This is my banana ice cream, baby. Mm. I'm gonna try mine. Whoa! There's a chocolate in it. I haven't had durian yet. In you Malaysia. had it in Vietnam. I haven't had it in Malaysia. Maybe KL? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. wait till we get to KL. Ooh! Mm. Best thing about Asia is that it's affordable. Everything's cheap and the food oh is delicious. Oh my god. This trip has saved us so much more money than when we went to America. Okay? America damaged our bank accounts like 
No tomorrow. I think uh going to you know what everyone going to Vietnam, Singapore, Malaysia all together costs the same as or costs less than traveling to America. So babe, what were your favorite items from Malaysian 7-Eleven Penangi? This is my favorite thing ever. I love this so much. I want to get another one. It was that good. I think that's just like nostalgic for you. It's the simple things in life, okay? It doesn't have to be, you know, 10 million fireflies. What the f- All of this for about 48 AUD, which is an absolute bargain. However, for 48 AUD, you could probably buy like six different meals that are way better than this. Yeah. Much more delicious. I don't recommend getting meals or food from 7-Eleven, I recommend the snacks or the bread. Yeah, I think so. Go to a store, go to a restaurant that's open at 2 a.m. if you need a little convenience. Everything is good and open here. Get it, baby. Get it, Penang. Thanks for watching, guys. <gasps> I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you real soon. Malaysia 7-Eleven. Next time we'll try the Family Mart here. We're coming back. We're coming back, Penang. We're coming back, Malaysia. Take Thank care. you for joining us as always. Thank you for eating with us. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Bye bye. Love you. Bye. Gamu gamu no. Bye.